Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Batides and we are here at Oakwood Village and we're real close to the trees behind me. And I wanted to speak to you today um, because it's close to Arbor Day and I wanted to talk trees. And so the first thing that you really should consider again, and we talk about this a lot with planting new plant material is your site, where you're going to plant it. So I really want you to become familiar with your site, especially the lighting that that tree will Will receive in the site. Also the soil, um, any soil issues. And normally in Northeast Ohio, it's going to be drainage issues. So make sure that you know the site because we always want to plant a plant in the right place for sure. And that goes with trees as well. Um, benefits of trees, I uh, there are almost too many to name, but I'm going to tell you planting trees health benefit wise, they're always going to increase the oxygen around you. They're always going to reduce stress, believe it or not. Um, so having that tree canopy around is very healthy for you. Another thing about trees, of course, is in the environment. They can help us save energy use, especially around the home. They can also obviously remove carbon dioxide from the air and cool places down. So that's really, really key as far as the environment is concerned. And then just all around value, um, a property that has trees around it um, actually increases in value, okay? So there's lots of benefits to growing trees and there's so many different types out there. It really just depends on the attributes that you're looking for. So you might look for, let's say, a flowering tree, spring flowering. But of course, there's summer flowering trees and then also later season flowering trees as well. You might be looking for a shade tree where you just need to fill some space, really cool down an area of the yard. That's great. There's numerous native shade trees that you can grow and do very, very well with, be very successful with in the landscape. Um, so it really kind of depends on the attributes. Again, I was talking about flowering um, at all different times of year, but maybe you're considering bringing in pollinators. Many of our tree species help with pollination um, all throughout the year. So do consider that as well. Maybe you want something that is bringing in some fall color. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, there's an enormous amount of, of trees that will provide beautiful fall coloration for you. And then of course there's trees that provide a lot of different winter interests. So think about all the different types of evergreens out there. There are different shapes, forms, and habits that'll provide that winter interest, or maybe even bark that'll provide some winter interest for you. So lots of cool attributes with shade trees. Basically with trees, they are divided into three different categories. There's the small, medium, and large. Your small trees are considered to be 25 foot or less. And we do have even like an extra small category where they're more like a, a topiary tree that would be about 10 foot or less. Then the medium sized trees are around the 25 to 50 foot mark. And then your large trees, of course, are gonna be greater than 50 foot. And there's plenty of them out there. So the next thing that I want you to consider, of course, is the spacing and the mature size of the tree that you do pick. Make sure that you're not planting a medium or a large size tree in a tree lawn that could affect overhead utility lines. That's a no-no. Make sure you're choosing a small size tree to do something like that or don't plant a medium to large size tree right next to the house that's also not a great thing to do so do consider that mature size shape and habit of the tree and make sure you're giving that tree space to really fill out and grow I think the last part about selecting a tree is really after you do consider all the different attributes that you're looking for is making sure you plant the tree in the right spot again and also planting it correctly. So at Petites we call, we talk about Angelo's six steps for success on planting plant material. For any plant, trees included, that's what you want to do. So make sure you check out that video. We have video, we have a garden guide on six steps for, for success to plant your plants correctly. 
The last thing that I'm gonna mention is protecting your trees, protecting your investment. So of course, you wanna make sure that you're watering regularly, especially with a newly planted tree. Make sure that you're watering it one inch of water, one time per week, very deeply and thoroughly. Um, that will help get those roots moving into the soil get that root tree, that tree system root established for you, okay? And you really need to maintain that really through the growing season, especially the first year. It is crucial um, later years as well, especially if we get into a drought period. Another thing is don't forget to fertilize your trees. They're growing as well. So a dose of fertilizer on deciduous trees, trees that lose their leaves, you're gonna wanna do that in spring and in midsummer, you can use tree tone. That's an excellent uh, granular fertilizer, organic fertilizer for trees. That works really, really nicely. You can use plant tone as well and iron tone. They all work very well together. And then if you have an evergreen tree, we're looking at typically fertilizing twice to three times a year, usually spring, midsummer, and late fall with those. So just keep that in mind, you're watering your fertilization. The last thing that I want you to consider, of course, is protection from deer damage, critter damage, all those types of things. So especially when you're planting new, younger trees with exposed trunks, you wanna make sure that you're wrapping those trees with a vinyl wrap or with burlap, you know, tied pretty close onto the tree trunk because you don't want your tree to get rubbed by the deer, especially, okay? Um, that can ruin a tree. We'll really have some growth problems beyond that. Um, so we don't want that to happen. So make sure that you're definitely protecting your trees. Other than that, come and talk to us at Petites. We'd love to talk to you about all the different types of trees available out there from extra small all the way up to large there is a tree that will definitely benefit your landscape. And so come and talk to us or shop online and you can check out their attributes and different sizes and shapes there as well. Enjoy.